No, this is no, how... It's all good. Yeah, no, I saw that. I just need to double check. <laughs> no, this is how I'm going to read out Beatrix. Ah, I see. That's how I'm never not going to call him Beatrix. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. This evening, I am joined by Bragg. Hello. Lachlan. Hello. And Seb. Hi. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with... Let's start with Bragg. Because he's got a bit to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, moving on. Last, <laughs> last week... I'm not sure if... Did I ever mention that I was thinking about building the deck last week? No. Yeah, this is. I just started this, posting this, this, in the chat. I want these things. Yeah, because this kind of happened. I think on Thursday night, like later Thursday night, then Friday morning. I think I messaged you going, "Yeah, I want them now." Give <laughs> <laughs> me um, birds. Yeah, so yeah, I'm playing birds. Uh, for the wonderies. Wonderies. Um, yeah, they're they're fun and cool, and they are fun and cool. Of the of the two decks that have come out from um, Burst of Destiny, I think that's the one that I would lean towards. Oh, and I do like I. That's the end. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll play ice jades. Uh, they'll be this... they'll be the best out do of the call three them of them. Ice maids. Ice jades. Okay. What they'll about... be the best out of the three of them eventually. What about penguins? Oh, penguins. Though they didn't come out, they didn't debut in this. Debut. <laughs> um. Debut. Otherwise, yeah. So like, and then jumping back into locals and stuff because yeah, it's a, a new meta. Good jumping off point. Two new big decks that. There's, I mean, Soul Soul wasn't being played today, was it? No, yeah, nobody but... has the good synchro for it yet. <laughs> How? That's weird. Did it not? Did Ben's not arrive, or did he only order his? Uh, he ordered his last week, but it hasn't arrived uh, yet. And that's right. And Tom didn't pull it. He only got the ghost. Mine's meant to yeah, come on Monday. Only the ghost. Yeah, yeah, I doubt it will. This is so sad. Knowing Oz post. Yeah. Yeah. And Knowing um, Oz post, we'll... they're like fucking sniffing it to see if there's money in it, and then they're just gonna. Oh, there's no money. I will deal with this in a couple of months. <laughs> this, this is an old joke I heard ages ago. It's like um, a little kid writes to Santa and goes, Oh, dear Santa, uh, my family's not very wealthy and I want to buy my mum a present because she's worked so hard. Um, if you could see it in your heart to send me some money so that I can buy my mum a present. And the people at the post office read the letter and they go, Oh, this is so sweet. Everyone, let's um, um, go around. I think he's asked for $5. Let's, let's give him what we have. They had like $4.50, so they put it in the envelope and they sent it off. And then he sends another letter back to Santa and he goes, I really appreciate the fact that you uh, tried to send me the money, but those thieving bastards at the post office must have taken some of the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah, pure scum. Every old post worker. <laughs> Scumbags. Die. No, oh. I'm joking. <laughs> no, a couple that is Jake in the group chat, though. <laughs> He's like, anytime, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> anytime anyone mentions any issue with post, I'm like, that's it. Burn down the offices. <laughs> it's time to end the manic. Remember they asked? Um, otherwise yeah, They're fucking monkeys, bro They're like <laughs> Money <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking about how it's weird that you can Pay more money to get your stuff shipped faster I was just thinking like How does that work? And mail should be free, <laughs> I think We're so run by money No, it's um, It makes more sense when you take it back to the old system Where it wasn't called Express, it was called First Class <laughs> White postage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! That's that's gonna catch the fire. It's just, it's just I'm cutting here. I should remember, like, um, I was gonna say, oh no, I know a couple of people that are posties and they're nice, but then I remember, like, one of them, like, then knew my first name and then told everyone, fucking, like, my full name. Kill him! Yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> Stephen a... Trevor Bragg. Well, that's a bit weird. You, I don't think you're... You can't oh, do that. again, to sidetrack, um, was it third round reversed? Yeah. Yeah, so I look up at the board, and I look at it, and I'm like, who the fuck is Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it back to my... Is it back to my full name there? Yeah. It's meant to be V. It's, meant, it's just meant to be Steve. Oh, it definitely says Stephen Bragg. Yeah, okay, so that Steve means so that means someone's gone back in and changed it because I changed it with Ken. I mean, I changed it with the store, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Logan's walked in and be like, change it back to Stephen. Oh, I was going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, but the highlight of the evening, Bragg. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so I uh, I did a thrilling and I lost. 
every game. So Who I came last. So I got the first pack out of the OTS thing, and I got um, well, what's that card called again? Um, uh penguin. 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 No, forbidden droplet. Ulti. Woohoo. Yeah. Lad. Did anyone else pull an ulti? Nope. Suck it, losers. <laughs> See, I knew I was winning when Bragg would pull the the droplets, and I would not uh, pay to not pull anything. See, I'm the real winner here because I didn't go. Huh. I don't know, man. You tried real hard. <laughs> I tried, bro. I tried to save it so hard, but it didn't work. <laughs> and, I mean, but um, at the end of the day, I truly am the loser, because Logan didn't bring any of my shit. <laughs> That's Is funny, because that he brought my stuff. Look, it's a lot to hope for. <laughs> Tom also didn't bring your shit. <laughs> oh, it's funny, because he brought my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, but yeah. So a uh, good week. It's um, it's, it's a good crowd in there now. So I'm happy to be back. We'll see how long. Ah, it's almost a good crowd. <laughs> <laughs> if Seb wasn't there, facts. Yeah, scum. Uh, but Purely we'll get to scum. That. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, Lachlan, how was your week? Um, all I was doing all week, Yu-Gi-Oh wise, was just uh, really intricately. Searching into the the depths of Ninja, because I really wanted ah, yes. to make sure that I would do the best job possible with Ninja. Yeah, yeah no, so I've, I've been playing Hearthstone. I'm doing Ballad. Much. You also well, went to an a, event. I was going to say. Oh, well, no, I went thing. to an event. Long. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that where I travelled an hour and a bit for an event. Um, I won. Yep, yeah, we won't question that. Well done. Um, <laughs> Seb, how was your week? I can't tell I was clapping for myself. <laughs> well, I also went to the event, but I didn't win. I played... Did you two got... winners? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> but I don't know why. Were you, memory... Are you sure you were there? <laughs> My memory just cuts Seb out a lot for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Sunday is yeah, a pretty forgettable day, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so I played going second Mystic Mine, Burn, and... Um, <laughs> yeah, how fun. Yeah, I did... Okay, first game. Second game, I versed Combo and didn't see my Amano, Wado, or Dark Ruler in both games. Um, and then I versed. You a need couple to play Gendo. Of... Excuse me? <laughs> I that was Gendo, be the aesthetic monk. I thought it was going to be a I was going to say, what's joke. Gendo? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a, it does the same thing as a Wado, but it's a, a level 4 water hmm. spellcaster. Um. And then I Anywho. apparently there was a lot of striker because Poe was playing it, so I versed two strikers and they just have. Too oh many yeah, they outs. just don't care about <laughs> yeah. mine at all. I pretty much have to like prohibition calling uh, after afterburners burners. and he's just whipping out his monk here. Bounce. Stops them from activating, but it doesn't bounce itself because that's what you need. Nah, it's but it'll knowledge. die because it's got three hundred. <laughs> it's got three hundred attack. You can just attack and take it some yeah. damage. Um. But it was alright. I don't mind. I beat the other... I placed higher than the other Mystic Mind Burn player and we are playing the exact same list, so yeah. Pog. But you did place under one Mystic Mind player. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you came first. Yes, of course. And then at... Undefeated. Lo- <laughs> didn't lose a single ball. At Locals, I played um, Bird Up. Like, pure Lyric Loss. But going second. Again, because I like going second. So I don't have to think. I just activate powerful spell and trap. <laughs> my guy, my guy. Just um, activate Mystic Mind. But, oh. yeah, I don't know. It just... I misplayed a couple times and I had some bad hands, including against Jake. So Yeah, some of your hands against me were terrible, including <laughs> when you had a, a hand of three spells but still chose to Imperial Order me when I had a Macabre on the board. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well... The rest of the cards weren't doing much. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Um, so yeah. Okay, week. Nothing outstanding. Just waiting for my Sword Soul stuff to come. When did Sword Shadows Soul? in Valhalla come out? Uh, two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, right. No, I know why you're asking that now. <laughs> um, so yeah, my week, I also went to the event. Um, I also didn't do great. Um, I versed a really scummy deck around round four. That wasn't fun. Oh, Seb. <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to say, all right. <laughs> Who won? Seb. So, to give... My a, guy, my guy. To give a good representation, I think... We did get to a game three, though, didn't we? Yeah, I think Yeah, so game three, uh, he prohibitioned Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah. He cursed Seal of Forbidden Spell Lightning Storm and had the goddess up to keep me away from Harpy's Feather Duster. 
I was not having a good time. <laughs> the only thing that kept me from losing my shit is the fact that I was friends with Seb. <laughs> And I say what? Say friends. <laughs> I was going to say say friends very loosely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, Mystic Mind triggers a, a primal hatred in me. Um, my, gr- my great grandfathers and their great grandfathers hated Mystic Mind before me. Hated the minds. Look, my grandfather probably <laughs> had the minds, to be fair. Um, Should we talk about what happened at that event? <laughs> yeah, let's bring it up. Let's bring um, it up. Let's not bring up names. Okay. So one of our fellow I have to hold back there. I almost said like I almost said names I'm... just instinctually because I don't want to listen to anyone. I don't want to be told what to do, <laughs> and I almost just said it out of spite of that. Like, <laughs> okay. So at the event there was a judge, um, and this judge is well known in the circuit a for having been in the judging pool for quite some time, if not like the longest serving judge in Australia for you year. The other thing he's also known for is being an absolute asshole and getting things wrong a lot. So he was judging the event, and the second that he was the one and only judge of the event, I knew shit was going to go badly. <laughs> um, yeah, it was right at that introduction where he was like, look lads, what, I'm paraphrasing, he did not say look lads, but he was like, I'm the only judge here, so unfortunately what I say is final. And unfortunately, that was true. <laughs> yeah. Because this man did not know his rulings. No. Um, so, again, a bit of foreshadowing for how badly the day was going to go for uh, one of the Wollongong crowd is when he was telling someone that their deck list was wrong because they wrote just engage. Um, and there was other cards in the card pool that could be mistaken for engage. And when I searched engage, there was only one engage. <laughs> and that's... as Very cool. I did the judge test. And I've, I've done all the judge tests available online. It says in the tournament policy that you are allowed to... Paraphrase. Uh, not abbreviate. Paraphrase, ab- like abbreviate if it cannot be mistaken for anything else. It cl- engage clearly cannot be mistaken. This is a judge mad on power already. And that's the first thing he does as a judge that day. Mm-hmm. Well, second thing after he gives a game loss because someone didn't have a deck list. But that's completely fair. That is fair. Yes. <laughs> Um, as for the actual ruling, now, I'm still a little confused as to exactly what it was, but basically it has to do with temporary banishment of, um, an extra deck monster and remembering what materials it used, if full special summon from extra deck and all that kind of thing. It's a little bit complicated. I, I know the situation. I know. Then by all means, okay. it, So basically, know. what happened is, uh, <laughs> no, um, Loza, our friend Loza, his channel is called Loza. He's the best Dark Magician player in the world, essentially. Um, kind of odd how often we have the best players of a deck in the world at our locals, eh? Oh, Christ. No, because we had Josh with Megalith. Uh-huh. Andrew with Necrobs yep. at the time. Did uh-huh. Josh top him? Me. Yep. Josh with <laughs> Salad. Josh with Salad right oh, now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and who? And you? I always said me. With what? Lewis with all two uh, with, uh, with every deck, because I'm the greatest duelist. Mm. No, Lewis, Lewis, Lewis was very oh. good with all two guys, but I wouldn't call him the best. I think he's top five, but he wasn't the best. All right, anyway. Um, Dragoon so was negated. So, Dragoon got negated. Uh, I don't know about what, but it doesn't matter. It was negated. Um, his opponent then takes Dragoon. Mm-hmm. His opponent tactics. summons Zeke to banish the Dragoon. Mm. Ah, yes, yeah. Yep, and then... The Dragoon returns to his field in the end phase. Yeah. Then the opponent, um, I don't know, Loza did something. I think something. it was next turn. Yeah, tactics. next turn tactics to take Dragoon because it doesn't target. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the opponent tried to pop with Dragoon and do burn damage after taking it off Loza. Yeah, yeah. And you, it does not remember, it, so it remembers that those cards in the grave were used for its summon, but it doesn't remember that they were vanillas. After yeah. coming back from After coming match. back. Yeah. So it knows that it was summoned correctly. It knows that it was fusion summoned. Yeah. Uh, but its distant coder goes over very clearly in his uh, his ruling uh, video on this sp- literal specific topic. It does not remember... Um, that they were normal monsters. That they were normal monsters or like their attributes and yeah. stuff. It knows that it was Red Eyes and Dark Magician. That's it. Does, Does he point to knows... documentation for it? I didn't get to watch his video. Um, Pardon? I think so. 
it, what's the documentation or the reference for him? Because I mean, he's a judge. Like, he, I wait. don't think he references. Him. Yeah, because I'm just wondering what the precedent on that would be. But I'm know. not sure. But like, my first. I was ruled that way at a YCS, and that's how it's yeah. ruled. That's how it's ruled. Though. My first thought in my mind would be that it like like the way stuff when it leaves the field and comes back, like it's when it's set, card. it's kind of like a new card. So to me, I would always lean on the side of it doesn't remember. Like, I would have, you know, obviously wrongly, but I would have leaned to the yeah. side of it doesn't even remember that those cards yeah, were used for same. a summon. Um, which Zeke, is obviously wrong. Because Zeke doesn't special summon back, it just returns. It yeah. just returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's temporary yeah. banishment. Yeah. But um, also, the judge did get this right, which is if you book of eclipse dragoon if it was negated mm-hmm. or whatever and then you flip summon it again it counts as being flip summon not fusion yeah. summoned with those targets yeah yeah, yeah of so course it, it remembers the summon. new type of summoning therefore yeah. it doesn't remember the material however the thing is time. that's just not the case yeah. <laughs> it's not what happened so then the judge comes over and he rules it against Loza that they does remember and it can pop and burn yeah which Loza knew the ruling yeah. and he said oh can I protest this or anything he says no yeah, yeah, and then loses because of that. Pretty much, he was undefeated. In time, he was yeah. undefeated up to that point. And it was in time. I think yeah. it was like he did that. And it was then, approaching time. Yeah, I think. approaching yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he lost because of that. He was undefeated at the time. Lost, and then he had to. Um, he went. Got Logan to message another judge, a well-respected judge. Um, that judge cited. With Loza, of course, because that is the correct ruling. Yeah. Um, Loza showed that to the judge. And the judge went, look, I made my decision. Yeah. And then he showed, I think, the video to the judge later. Yeah. And the judge was like, like, stop talking to me about it, essentially. Like, he was kind of dismissive. Yeah. And not sort of willing to accept blame. Like, just going like, look, okay, like, I I made a bad decision. I think you're right. Like, an apology. Maybe because it literally cost loss of the game, um, but that didn't happen. And then a bit of beef got started. I think Loza made a few uh, a video about it, yeah. and uh, another yep. person. And there was uh, another in yeah a another Facebook, Facebook post about it. Yeah. Um, so basically, what this boils down to, for um, as, as far as I'm concerned, is that ve- events this size should never be judged by one person. Yeah. No matter who the person is, even if it was distant coder himself. Yeah, yeah. No, there 100%. should be someone else to verify these things because people get things wrong. Okay. Yeah. And this like... is another thing. Sure, people get things wrong. Mistakes are made. That's fine. But when the person who has done this has made several mistakes in the past and and also been known on a power trip in the past, also absolutely, yeah, like to... making decisions when they're not needed, like with with Bragg. Right, what you were saying about how he DQ, uh, he he gave you a game loss for a oh yeah, I've had, like, I'll, I'll never trust yeah, I'll never trust this judge ever in a single thing. Like I I've known this for it, at least five years. Like I fully <laughs> agree with what you're saying that there shouldn't be a single judge, but if there is a single judge, that's it cannot be it, this judge. it cannot be this judge. Um, it, it does kind of I mean. That judge could probably own up to it a bit better, and obviously you could implement two judges. Also, you could have a comprehensive rule book and yeah, exactly, and, cl- and clear rulings and a proper database for rulings and all the other ilk, which we touched on last week. I will bet I've all of the money in my bank account that judges will say master duels is not uh, a reliable source. They will source absolutely because say they that because it's make their only rulings. source of a job. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Oh, I think judges. Are important, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's like there's definitely stuff I can qualify. Like I can look. I I like to think that like I am unbiased in this regard. But it's like where they can set up table numbers. Uh, they like just general hands on like laborers. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like they're laborers <laughs> to like calling them judges. Probably isn't the right word, but like. Santa's little helpers. Yeah, and also just to give new like newer players or whatever like a quick. Oh, well, no, that's a demo judge. Yeah, like yeah, like a yeah. demo judge, like or even, like let's see, like where you, like, a weird common ruling comes up and they can come over and be the rule book and go, no, no, that's in the rules. Like you're not being screwed here. Like just yeah. a quick, 
no, 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 you're not getting it. You're not getting Swifty. Like, it's... I don't... Have you guys ever had an experience with a judge that's gone well? Like, as in, like, in-game, you call a judge over for help and it's actually, like, helped? Mm. No. I, I haven't done that many judge calls. I haven't. Once, in 2017, when I was also playing... Uh, it was done as Pepe. Do you remember that deck, Brack? Yeah. The, where it all started. <laughs> no, this deck was actually, like, pretty fun. Um, and I called the judge over because, like, half of my opponent's cards are like this, mm. and half are like, sorry, half of them are Ben, half of them are taco essentially, like, clearly, and they're all his Metal Foes cards. Look at that, look at that. I'm yeah, presenting yeah, a taco. Ah, suck gags. Yeah. yeah I'm presenting a taco card. I'll put a photo on the Discord. Oh, that is actually a card. I thought it was just mm. asleep. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> what did he used to? And what did the judge say? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> 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 Where's Alistair? No. <laughs> Metaphys Horus. <laughs> you monster! I like how he wasn't on the right side, so you just threw it at him. He had this plan since like two oh, days ago. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a plan as well? No, no. I mean, I knew that it was going to happen, yeah. but like, if I had it planned, I would have like, gotten you to sit over here. Yeah. No. Because Jake will just pick up cards. Basically, I had a Metaphys Horus bend in my um comment like in my commons box or whatever, and I decided to plan a plan it on the table for the last few days. Wait for Jake to, <laughs> just just Jake to look at it. <laughs> it's so big brain. Mm. But yeah, so I called this judge and I was like, "Bro, look, look," and he was like, "Yeah, these are warped." I'm like, "Okay, so give me my win." Like, wh where's my win? And he was like, "Oh, it's gonna be a warning." I'm like, has the warning fixed anything? <laughs> like, these are still warped. Give him another warning. And he was like, are you accusing your opponent of intentionally warping their cards so that they're cheating? And I'm like, I don't think this is my decision. And he was like, do you want me to go get the head judge? And I was like, literally, this is my first ever tournament. Like, like actual big event. I'd been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for eight months. And I was like, he made it sound like yeah, if I called thing. the head judge... And the head judge sided against it. There was going to be some like repercussion, repercussion on me. So and I was like, okay, I guess not. And then uh, the dude won by clearly drawing the cards that were Ben. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, clearly this is just your mate. But like you would, there's, there's too much mateship that goes on between judges and but players. There's a lot, but there's a hundred percent of logical like, and, it's, and that's what's annoying as well. Is like they're there. Some judges do forget like logical. Like it's like oh, that's that's a warning, and also you have to replace the cards. Oh. And if it was just a warning, and he was able to replace his cards, go for it. If he's not able to, that is a game. It's in the fucking policy. Yeah, yeah, he can't I've read it all. Yeah, he, can, he can't. He can't keep playing with those cards. No, because it's not in a uniform fashion. And there's clearly a fucking pattern that comes from, like, these cards are warped. He wants these cards. These cards are better off in deck. They're not warped. What the fuck? You love to see it. What the fuck? Um, um, I have barely warped up starts. Yeah. Warped but, um, starts. yeah, that's my gripe. So I've applied to become a judge. I've passed all three tests. I did the one for a demo judge for no reason. Um, but I've done all three tests. I passed all three tests. Uh, and I'm waiting to hear back. I and I you're... imagine if they hear this, I will not get off a, a judge. Well, uh, what, I mean, you don't need to wait to hear back. You can start judge if you. I pass... can judge locals. Yeah, you but... can judge locals. Oh, you then... can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pass that, and then the store sees that you've passed it, you. Not to diminish <laughs> this, but that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Scythe doesn't have to activate. <laughs> no, 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 no. Scythe has to activate. But you don't have to activate it. But no, no, no. It has to. <laughs> Missing it is a warning. He didn't activate it. That was yeah, the problem. Yeah, right. But anyway, I was, get, it was, it, it, I was wrong. He won the game. It's not comparable to the yeah. other situation that happened recently. Oh, it's so definitely not comparable. At the that. end of the day, it's either you get screwed by a corrupt judge or you become one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, um... Well, no, I'm you not. You die gonna... a hero, you live long enough to see yourself become the judge. I'll, I'll set it up with Blake. Become I'll, I'll be the Blake. official judge of Gigi's Wollongong. Um. Uh, schism can be negated under Meltdown. <laughs> it, is, it is a trap, and it has other things that aren't just fusion summoning. This is a final ruling. I can test it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, the, judge is, the judge has mandated it. I mean, that you can have two judges on. No. Correct. Second judge. No, I am second judge. Also, that that 
One, the policy and tournament quiz is out of date. Yeah. Because oh, there's a question really where double sleeving. double sleeving is the wrong answer. How do you, did you know it was wrong? How did you... I, I, I was did like, I guess it's wrong. So I picked because the other answer. it could have been that one. It was well, to be fair, I got four questions sleeve. wrong. I guess that could have been one. But like, the other one was definitely right. And you could only choose one. What was it? Something else. Not, yeah, not allowed to talk about it. Oh, I thought it was none of the above or double sleeping. And there's one in the thing where it's just like, does MST negate? I'm not going to tell you the answer, but there is a question that asks if MST negates. Who would I mean, ask that? What would happen when you chain MST what happens to reinforcement no of the army? Uh, reinforcement of the army. It does not negate and it gets destroyed. Yes. Uh, I can judge locals. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Should we just start our, like our yeah. second just legion of judges? Like, you'll be like, oh, can I have a peel? I'm like, yeah, you can't negate. You can negate schism. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bro, we need like four four judges so we can never be overruled. <laughs> and we all just judge in YCS. Me, you. Who else, who else would be fucking... This sounds so like the worst thing ever. If a head judge just rules one way, you can't go against it. The head judge is final. It, can, it cannot be appealed, even, even if, if it's, it's wrong. wrong. Okay. Which uh, is what happened let's become when head judge. the meltdown... <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Fuck the meltdown. When Daniel Smith himself, didn't he rule that uh, you could use uh, Triangle Ecstasy Spark against Paleo? Oh, yeah. yeah. And he was the head judge at that YCS. Uh, it's a harpy card, but the way it reads is you have to have a harpy on board, but it, the text is fucky, so it doesn't actually, like... It doesn't have proper state. PSCT. Yeah. So it, the way it's stated makes it sound like you can use this effect even if you don't have a harpy on board. Oh, okay. I'll I'll read out the thing for you. Also, just to clarify, it might not have been him. He might have just been embroiled <laughs> in the in the thing. But Ooh, it might have been him. Back back back. <laughs> um, God judging. Uh, basically, yeah. Until the end of the turn, the attack of all harpy later sisters on the field become twenty seven hundred. Your opponent cannot activate any trap cards. Also negate all of your opponent's trap effects on the field. So, is there any full stops in there? No. So you have to, you have to be a, at the time of activation. You have to be able to Summer. change the attack oh, of Harpy oh. Lady Sisters to oh, do okay. so. Um, but yeah, I think the dude topped with it in his deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, is yep. it the one where there's like three sisters and they're like shooting something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Triangle. Yeah. Ecstasy. Spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're shooting ecstasy. Mm. Or shoot it into my asshole. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in relation in relation to like another fucky head uh, judge ruling, the only uh, YCS that Shadol have heavily topped is when Meltdown was ruled that as long as it was on the field, whoever Fusion summoned, whoever controlled it, yeah. like th- they couldn't do anything. So literally, in a Shadol mirror, if I control Meltdown and you don't, none of your Shadol trigger. Ah, oh, okay. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the oh, in the okay. in the time of uh, yeah fusion summoning, you despite can't the, activate an effect. despite the fact you that can't... meltdown says when you fusion summon yeah. your opponent can't respond, yeah. the judge is like, "What does you mean?" Ah, oh, fuck it. I might <laughs> I might look into this, I like this whole thing, and next week I'll, I might do a little segment where I read out the worst fucking oh, no, no. judges ever. Whole, whole other video. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> That's long. <laughs> I don't have to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, other news. Um, basically, um, we've got Burst of Destiny that's now out, um, and we are starting to see the impacts don't now. Do we do our decks first? Hmm. No. What that deck do? We do that before we'll the do that end. Do we? Oh, no, we don't do it at the end, because... Yeah, I, mean, I, w- I mean, I wouldn't go interrupting the flow just to get the fucking <laughs> deck shit in. No, but... I was interrupted. I mean, it's Wait, well interrupted now. Tell it. us what deck do. Okay. I got ninjas. <laughs> and I've been avoiding learning what ninjas have done for a very long time. They just play Mystic Mine, right? Uh, yeah, they just play Mystic Mine like two ninja cards. <laughs> no. Um, so, brief overview. Ninja is very... That deck... <laughs> it has monsters. The monsters <laughs> serve spells and the traps. And... Basically, the traps have... Uh, they're all different attributes and shit, right? So they can play well under goes in that. Is that correct? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> rivalry. Um, yeah, rivalry. No. 
Yeah. It's all ninjas. All oh, yeah, they're all warriors. Um, Could they be searched off Rhoda? Yes, because they are warriors. Could you please, do... Please don't extend this any longer. The sold combos with them? Maybe. But the ones <laughs> I saw were not very that. Like, you can, but the idea is... They have their own link, right? It is a control-based deck that utilizes the back row to help the front row. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't try. I did. Uh, no, no, I did. I, I'm just getting. I'm getting <laughs> smart. Last week, Bragg had a fucking 17 page dossier. He hadn't read it, <laughs> <laughs> but he had it. It's um. So they've got an XYZ. They've got a link, and they've got two XYZs. That's no, just going over Yu-Gi-Oh. And a synchro and a pendulum. Oh wait, no, the synchro is a super heavy. Um, but look, <laughs> there's cards that search the other ninjas, and then those. Like, it, it runs alongside uh, the trap archetype called ninjutsu, right? Um, so there's ninjutsu-like uh, effects that have, like, way different effects. <laughs> so the best card in this deck is the Link. The Link is a very good card. It does exactly what the deck... I swear to God, I know more than it sounds like I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just royal. You fuck yeah, you, 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 it. You was like, I want to talk about decks. Now, <laughs> I wanted you guys to talk. This is a U10 presentation that I haven't studied the night before. I and sw- I've got to fill that time. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes, sure. <laughs> what are you looking up? <laughs> My notes are a psych. Your notes? Yeah. That looks like the Yukio Wikio. My notes. <laughs> I wrote it. I wrote it! You wrote the wiki? I swear I know more than it seems like, but um, yeah, basically it's a control deck. The link so, uh, does very well. It can't be targeted and destroyed and shit. Uh, I don't know what, what do they else... need more? Yeah. What do they need more of? I don't know, like uh, like a actual thing they want to do. It's a very like difficult archetype to be like, this is definitely what they want to do, because what they wanted to do when they were playable is just not viable anymore, and now they don't really have anything to do. Like, they can, they can make the ducks some more blocks still. Yeah. It's useless. Yeah. No one cares. Just, just bigger wing bases. Yeah. It's... <laughs> honestly, they just need... Just like a wing bases. Give them, like, a... Big-ass fucking boss monster. That does yeah. better. UCT. And then... Yeah. Give them, give them a UCT. That's what Ultimate, they need. Ultimate... Yeah. That's a wing dust. Beast. Ultimate Chinese ninja. That's a dragon. <laughs> give them a dragon. Wing beast. <laughs> Oh, because yeah, one of them summons dragons, yeah? Yeah, one of the, the ninjutsu art of transformation. Yeah. Summon a morphage of life. See, I know shit. Anywho. Me um, next, me next. Uh, you've got the notes ready. I'll do the notes ready. Uh, Rumour has it that this set came out in, uh, the dr- uh, with the Drytrons in uh, Genesis Impact. <laughs> <clears throat> Rumour has it, otherwise known as the set list. Um, comes from... Uh, <laughs> In the, in the Arctic. Arctic is for bear, whatever. Look, the Yu Gi Oh! Wiki's description is redundant. Um, so yeah, this is. They... No one knows Arctic means bear. Arctic means the eyes up tall. That's what people know Arctic to mean now. The word has changed, like the word irony. What's irony changed to? These nuts. Yeah. Uh, got me. That was really funny. Laugh mm-hmm. track. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we definitely we definitely covered these quite in-depth on a previous podcast as well, where the synchro summons of these aren't actually synchro summons you uh, attribute from them. They're like dark synchros. Yeah, I guess. But not really. I mean, that's what dark synchros were. Uh, then, uh, yeah, so that's how they go into their boss monsters that are synchro monsters. Mm. Mm-hmm. And like that cute little bear. You should get that collector's rare. I want to. It's so fucking hard to find. Is it expensive or just hard to find? It's just hard to find. I think anyone who pulled one is like, oh, it's so cute. Mm. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Yeah, so they do bear things. What they need uh, is flunderlies in the format so no one's, everyone's not running anti-tribute summoning stuff. What's their best card? No clue. You've not explained <laughs> what any of them do. I told you just man, said I what really they fucked are. up ninjas. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I knew off the top which one summoned the dragon. No, you just said the ninjutsu trap, didn't you? Ninjutsu art of transformation. That's that's. Check just... it. Anyway, um, so 
to sound somewhat more comprehensive, I will be talking about S forces. What, oh. uh, what does the S stand for? Um, I believe it just stands for special. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have asked that question. Um, anywho, moving him right along to not Lachlan's thing that he definitely didn't say properly. Um, so, S Force. Um, I'm going to start with the most interesting thing about them, which is the law. Um, so, law wise, the S Force exists in the same universe as Cyframes and Time Thieves. And the S Force are the police of that realm, and the Cyframes and the Time Thieves are the. Uh, Anti heroes. What the? What a weird fucking group. Of yeah, I, I, did, like, I, I guess they're know. all psychics. Well, they're right? all psychic. They all yeah. like to banish. And remember, they used to work together well with Lambda, the summon the X Y Z, and then you search. Oh yeah, frame. I meant to say that. You summon the. I like how Wulong's two newest dodgy judges say X Y Z instead of X E. Damn, almost Damn. like we we say all the letters that are right there in the in the thing. Do you pronounce Exceed. your name Lochlan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, so S Force work sort of like um, like a pure Mech Knight's death would, in that they're all column based and they uh, hinder the opponent based on what they have in the same columns. Like one means that you can't uh, link uh, into link three or higher with materials in its column. One reduces by 600 for every monster in its column. Um, their link monster, if your opponent activates an effect, it negates it and then brings it to its link. Because being link three, you'd assume that its links point down, all three point onto your opponent's board. Mm. So it draws them into that link, and then when it attacks, it banishes everything that it points to. Um, their best card is uh, S-Force Chase, which bounces face-up cards based on the number of S-Forces you have on board. And they can get a lot on board. They kind of like spiral off of each other. Like one summons the other, which searches the spell, which summons the other, and all that kind of thing. So they kind of spend the board really easy. Um, what they need to be better is to not be so shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, the Mech Knights have the benefit of being big bodies on board. So, like, you don't have to use them as floodgates. Whereas these things are all fairly small. And their floodgate effects really aren't that impactful. Mm. So it's pretty easy for your opponent to A, negate what they do to stop them from like comboing off, and B, to just destroy them and then move on. Yeah. <laughs> Attack over them. Because that's the, that's the benefit of Mech Knights, is that like, although they don't, you don't have to run them as the floodgate kind of Mech Knights, they can just be big bodies. Mm. And also, they tag out sometimes, or move. They tag out, they move, they make a competent link monster. Well, three, three competent link monsters. I mean, no one summons fucking Spectrum Supreme, except for... Jake. Occasionally. <laughs> Look, the times that I've been able to attack directly with Spectrum Supreme and it not be affected by anything that they try and do to me, I've enjoyed that very much. Do you have any questions about S-Forces, Brad? No. Perfect. Because I've say, exhausted my knowledge on X Forces. I was going to say, I mean, you did better than me. Um, if you do really want to know what Earth Addicts do, uh, if you scroll back to February 2021 <laughs> on Instagram and find Jewel Daddy, Is they have a pretty good, um, pretty good so, uh, readout you, of what, the deck. What's the bear called? What the bear synchro? Oh, no clue. Okay, well, the bear synchro, just for a bit, bit of flavour for you. Looks oh, a, a bit lot, of a lot like, and I reckon they got it from this. Oliver from Battle Bears, I think maybe two, when he goes into Japanese mode and goes to space and fights a big ship. There's, I'm there's sorry, a, there's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> Japanese mode. Yeah, his his brain switches into like a Japanese mode and he goes crazy. I can show you. Well, that, that's that just that's just life, isn't it? Oh wow, he's right. <laughs> I mean, he does look a lot like that. However, and he fights a big spaceship, so that's where I think they got it from. Possibly. I mean, it was it was never in the show; it was only in the manga. Does he go and fight like um, Drytron? Sort of looks like a Drytron. It's got a yeah. face and it's a spaceship. Heck, it's... and I found it really hard until I learned what how you actually beat that boss, which is like shooting its bum. The hell's he doing? Oh, <laughs> yes. Like it flips over, and when it flips, you have to shoot its ass. <laughs> Well, we're going to integrate Ben back in here, so we're yeah. going to figure out... Lads, I have an idea for this segment. Oh, no. 
We do it every week. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do it every week. Well, who's that? Yeah. But apparently there's going to yeah. be... Yeah, we will all exhaust. It looks to be a ballot system. And Lachlan's going to write down all the decks no, he wants no. to learn about. No, no, no. <laughs> we're all going to take one of these. Right? Mm-hmm. He's, he's passed out four bits of paper. Scraps. And we're going to write something... R- write a deck on here. Yeah. And then we're going to put that into the bag. Oh. And then... We're going to shuffle it around. Oh. And what then you're going to pick a deck out. What if you get your own? Get your own? Okay, cool. I mean, you're not going to pick a deck that you already know, right? I mean, you're not going to... Strikers. <laughs> it, it... Okay, I won't. Yeah. So... Alright, we're going to do this live. Alright, I'm going to... Roll them. Look away. Everybody. Lachlan is now writing his answer. So tempting to just write cum. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um... Uh, yeah, I gotta think of a deck. Yeah. Bad Yu Gi Oh decks, I'll look up. Doesn't have to be bad. We should probably do more recent decks. Cause they're... I know one that I don't really know much about it myself. I tried to play it, but it was unplayable. <sighs> <laughs> and I think it has law, so. I Jake, law! I hope Jake gets it. I love law. Holy god, he's still writing. Hurry up. <laughs> it's a long deck. Yeah, it's probably bad. Right. I've been like really like yeah. I re- I immediately regret writing down what I wrote down, but I won't. What do you do? I really wish this oh, deck was playable. I, I, I tried to find a hat. Literally, I yeah. couldn't. Bro. The closest <laughs> to literally a, hat. a backpack. The closest We're thing I had lose the paper in the backpack. Bag. There's nothing backpack. else. There. Backpack. The closest backpack. thing I had to I, it needed to be something big so we couldn't see. <laughs> right, Lachlan has put my scrap in yeah. the bag and now Jake is writing his answer. I'm like crumple them a little I like bit. Can't so can't cover it and then write yeah, on it. We won't it's one. Far too difficult. We're about to find out what they are. <laughs> Should we say what we wrote or we'll wait for next week? Uh like we'll Yeah, we'll we'll say what we got and then we can own up to who got who's. Okay, cool. Wait, are next we doing week, this or? tonight or Yeah yeah, no, we're gonna do this tonight. Oh what I was research say, I tonight to... or draw? No no no, it. like okay. just <laughs> Research live. Um <laughs> I mean that's effectively what these two are doing. <laughs> who wants to go first? Me. Youngest. Yeah. Um, oldest. Old dog. Old dog. Brack has drawn a card. I got sword soul. Ooh. Oh. Uh who wants to go next? Oldest. Okay, okay thanks, oldest. I guess. I'm just gonna pull my own. Ha! <laughs> yeah, no, not this month. Not the first time. Um, I did, in fact, pull my own. Um, I, I got Reptilian. What's that? Is that a. Re- it's the new thought? stuff. Uh, nah. It's got supers in this new set. So, Seb. Your next oldest. You pick. Yeah, but I'm holding the bag. I think. Where are they? Bottom. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, you've. Oh, I picked two. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two left. You all don't clump. Why did you put it back in the bag? Because oh. I picked two. Oh no, I can't find it. This is. Oh, is that one? I think that's we mine. So I'm gonna... a finding new way yeah, to this podcast. Cool. Oh, there, has to, there has to be some other I, to do I have this. pulled out Tindangle. Does anyone want to swap with mine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I want to swap with Jake. No. Oh. I got what I wanted. <laughs> I'll swap with you. Are you actually going to research it? Because I want to know the law. Sure. Okay. Oh, there's some exodious bullshit. Just like the, the law of Tindak. Ice Jade. Okay, cool. <laughs> some more decks I want someone else to research for me. <laughs> you, Wait, better, you better what? do your work. Wait, I'll, I'll learn what Tindak I think they have law. They're from the anime. Is that law? I don't know. No. Well, they had cool looking spells. I thought they did something. Yeah, cool. look, the spells always have really odd names. I don't know if they maybe stem from like Greek mythology or something, but yeah, other than that, I have I no idea. More Should like... we get a jingle for this? No. I think it's more what like. What the shapes. deck do? do, do, do. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll, what the I'll deck spice do? that up. And I'll put it at the start of next week's. Welcome to the cum zone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to uh, the uh, anyway. Zone. Before uh, we so interrupt, yeah, it. back to um, something we started like half an hour ago. It feels um, Burst of Destiny is now out and about, and we're starting to see the impacts. As far as I'm aware of 
uh, how it's sort of affecting the meta. Well, how much did you crack? I bought two boxes. Two boxes? Worth much. And I pulled... No. Okay. Oh, it's worth like nothing. Even though ulti is not worth much. Um, <laughs> don't hurt it in front of me. <laughs> I'm just distracting you from the podcast. He's ripped off Outrageous. the uh, identification corner, so now <laughs> we don't know if this is an official Horus or not. Oh, he's eating it. What, what, what is the um, identification corner? Boy. Was it, first, was it um, a dude one? I don't know. I can't read it from here. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Um, we've now got three Fluanduis players at Locals. We've got... About um, four, maybe five Sword Soul. Wait, one... You'll have Me, at least Josh, Lewis. Don't count Josh in that. Um, one, two, three. Costa yeah. and maybe Bragg. We'll have five Sword Soul players, maybe. Yeah, lots of Sword Soul players. <laughs> um, you've got almost any other deck that like used to end on a Dragoon board now ending in Enforcer instead. Because yeah. easier to make. I, easier I, to make, not as restricted. Yeah. Version. yeah. Fusion Destiny does seem easier to drop. Um, then. It's just nice to be able to run three of it and know that if you open it, open you it you're can, not fucked. <laughs> yeah, you can play it. They can negate it, and you'll be like, "Okay, cool, I can still play." Mm. Yeah, it's it's far. It is better in that way. I still think that the power of dragoon is, but also dragoon needs a discard, which is yeah, and yeah, the tar- it, the targets do stuff in grey, which is very cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you, it's just it's a more long game card. Yeah, it's. I what think. that card is. Do you end up with a Dasher? Dasher? Yeah. Mm. No, nah, I've just... I put, um... Blood D Hero in. Oh. So do, you, do, you, do you need Dash? Do you want to borrow the Dasher now? Mm, I'll Look borrow it. it, yeah. Yeah. Because... Oh, so I kept digging. <laughs> I couldn't find them. I was only found one contact there. So oh, okay. I've still got about three or so bulk containers to go through but I've not found any dashes either and I thought I'd have at least one sneaky common surely it gets like I a, pulled so much of that set it so might get no ATS with the new set it's so annoying because I see um, Destiny actually no Destiny Draw was uh, an ultra in that disregard that otherwise um, what'd you pull from your boxes both my boxes were so fucking bad I pulled two of the Magister Synchro and two of the Heavenly Prison that's so bad it's really bad Heavenly Prison no, the Magister Synchro. The Heavenly Prison... If the Heavenly Prison you hug with, like, a uh, the Phoenix Enforcer or your, your Moe... Well, yeah. That that could go, actually, pretty well, I reckon. Oh, my God, he's a... F- <laughs> <laughs> um, if, yeah, if he's you... Like, man, that's... Like, yeah, if you <clears throat> pull the Magisters or if... You just don't want to see them both in the same. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, Sky that's Prison. fine. It'd be fine if I got one and then something decent at yeah. the end of it. But to get both in two boxes... It's real bad. Better than zero secret. Did you pull much then? Yeah, that that Barely. has happened. I but bought the single. Have singles. you seen what those? I did not. Synchro is actually worth the Magistus one. Yeah, it's like literally it's less numbers. than like some supers. Yeah, it's bad. Um, Until someone comes out and makes an amazing Magistus uh, custom card deck. No, yeah. <laughs> Magistus is not that bad. Like it's, it's kind of Sky Strikery. In the way, like, it just, like, has to be conservative and, like, keep doing what it does every single turn. I said there was Magistus fans out there. I just didn't know it was going to be a lot one. I'm not. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm doing singles too, Sam. <laughs> He's not a fan of Magistus. Singles, There's an Alistair in the deck. Singles Better than fun. doing married people, right? Uh, Fuck adultery. What just happened? Wow, he's got a really cold fist. Um, otherwise. <laughs> hot. Uh, yeah, so this is probably going to be the first box in a while that I'm just going to do singles for instead of yeah. doing dumb shit well I usually get like one box just to open it but I've just bought swords also I don't want to yeah. buy a box and pull bad cards yeah valid don't worry I'll be pulling all the bad cards <laughs> if yeah like if I got the box and got Ecclesia Enforcer that's the dream but that is a very far distant dream that is not what I would get so I've got to pick up those Ecclesias eventually. Uh, it just occurred to me, I forgot to mention this on um, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! I've spent so much money on singles and product of late. I don't know where this money has come from. I know where it's gone. Uh, <laughs> down the toilet. Um, where did it come from? I've, where did it go? I've oh. spent my ulti, strikers, and all my savings. <laughs> Have you right. sold your fucking ulti strikers? Yeah. Before the kaiju... Yeah. What's wrong with you? I mean, it was at the time nah, that it was announced. Yeah, the, yeah. Nice. I mean, 
not enough time to realise that the, like, the kaiju might suck. It's a kaiju, bro. <laughs> you need to control the Sky Striker for. It's, it's a risk. I, I, I back his risk. I don't know. Engage might come there too if they want. And then doubles again. <laughs> uh, yeah, so singles woo is going to be rough. And I'll, go, I'll probably get my tax back soon. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, that's good because that was it's literally fucking on November. My mind. <laughs> no, no. I, did, I was literally listening back to one of the podcasts last week and you're like, oh, yeah, I've got to do that. And I thought you meant like like pre-order something and you're like no no my tax <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering I was curious as to whether you had done it but yeah soon Shake the tax money comes the in podcast. buy some Ecclesiastes oh I still haven't done it I was going to have to get it done oh for god's sake Ray just, just click accept no, pay as you go you're done no no because I want to get my proper deductions just claim $50 on clothing it's below the threshold for the order you that's a joke <laughs> for legal reasons no. that is a joke <laughs> It is yeah. a joke. It's just an ongoing isn't joke in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Isn't it a fact? Uh, no, and I would advise you to speak to an account. I can run off my Ubers Why? this time. Actually, here's, that's, this is the crazy thing as well. Is like, I'm pretty sure if I work from home, yeah, we'll get into that later. Um, <laughs> it's a whole other conversation. You can claim your computer. Yeah. Yeah, you can claim a portion yeah, of your with... electricity. Yeah. Bro. Wouldn't do much. That's the thing. It's just I don't want like, especially if like, look, I was always going to go back to an agent because I it didn't want my return last year when I did it myself. Can we claim fucking compensation for the elevator? <laughs> always being fucking broken. Uh sue the landlord. No, nah, it's not his elevator. How much elevators cost? You reckon? Lots. Like mm. like a milli sword sold. It's not a milli, but it's like <laughs> could I sell an elevator? Yeah. Could I sell the elevator for a sword sold day? Probably. I mean, if it worked. I mean, if there were any maps around. <laughs> what? Right, you wouldn't be able to get your maps. That's not a sword sword card. Yeah, I was no. like... I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to all my maps. Google Maps or what? <laughs> Don't have my fucking cards that Logan has. Oh, Logan has the um the the other two MGSs, by the way. Okay, good. So, I am all set. I'm hoping the Dark Lord and no Mores are in there. I've got commons if you want to borrow them. Yeah. Home elevator costs between 50. 40 what was the common thousand? The s- bitches, structure. bitches one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only one I didn't get. Oh yeah, and in my final purchase of the week, bitches. I bought two. Of the, I bought two of the cyber dragon structure deck. Oh, that's right. To get I can't, I, you, I got, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I went back to like I was to Jake going. I finally owned in perms. This is a pretty good day. I've, I've held off for so long. I say the same line to Lachlan. I get home and Lachlan's like, "You own three, and I've got them." <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> I was like, "Do you not remember you buying them off me?" <laughs> and he went, "Our imperms." <laughs> I'm like, "They're literally in my deck. You bought them off me." <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just holding my super imperms for when they go to fifteen dollars each. I mean, eventually. <laughs> they, they look good too. I like them. They don't look that offensive, but on the horizon, ulti imperms. Oh yeah, I might sell my... Probably around 100,000. For an elevator? Yeah, according to platinumelevators.com.au. Oof, that, we don't need platinum elevators. We, we, want, we want bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking tin elevator? <laughs> you ever seen those one-man elevators? Oh, they're... In like oh, India? Yeah. And they're like... And you can see the walls moving. Yeah, yeah. There's no door. You say in India, (laughs) they're in the Queen Victoria building. Yeah. (laughs) So Where's that? (sighs) Victoria. You really don't know... (laughs) (laughs) You really don't know anything outside of Brisbane, do you? I know the Gold Coast. I know South East Queensland. That's it. Where else? Like Queensland. Your mum's house. Oh. Double two, double three, you know... I do know double two double O, <laughs> brother. No, no that's brother. In, it's Adelaide. That's shame. You know Adelaide? No, your mom lives in Adelaide. No. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where she lives. Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> They're an opposite <laughs> size of the map. Darwin YCS when? 
Oh my god, we can. Bro, if we can't get a fucking Brisbane YCS, we're never getting a Darwin YCS. <laughs> Alice Springs Oh, we well, yeah. Bro, I would rate <laughs> Alice Springs YCS a fucking... <laughs> Bro, we, they're like... The Konami people there are like, oh, that's Ayers Rock. Yeah. <laughs> get it signed by... Can Konami. we get a reprint, please, with... Like yeah. an errata, so it's, it's Uluru, not Ayers Rock Sunrise. It's Uluru's Sunrise. I, me- I, like, I messaged you when watching that anime, like that, I yeah. did not remember him just walking on fucking Uluru. Yeah. And he's like, I was walking on a log, and I saw a sunrise, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, we were watching that together. <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, I went like, like, for a midnight stroll. Up. Yeah. And I <laughs> found myself on the Uluru. <laughs> I was walking up Ayers Rock. It's like, you could not say a worse sentence. <laughs> In, in relation to this. It's also just like shit support for... It's also for... dangerous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like he's like, oh, I made this super cool card. Pegasus is gonna like come inside me. <laughs> and it's like gain 400 attack. <laughs> it's a res as well, yeah? I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's a res. Yeah, cool. It, but but they put that in the same. It was the same set that Bloody um, Soul Charge came out. So I was like, okay, yeah. Summon one beast, give four hundred attack. Summon five monsters from grave. Which hmm. one do you, you can't do? Active, you can't have a battle face that turn. Yeah, oh, which no. doesn't matter when you activate it first turn, which you shouldn't be able to do. The card's banned anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot about that card. If you can't use that. If you can use that first turn, why can't you use Triangle like Sissy Spark? You know you can't use Threatening Roar on oh, your yeah, own turn. Oh yeah, you can't. On what? Your own turn. Why not? Because your opponent can't attack. What about Roarocks? <laughs> they can't attack. They should be able to attack off turn. Yeah. I will threatening rule this Roar differently. Threatening Roar side card against Warrocks. <laughs> 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 what a meta we live in. <laughs> Imagine if Warrocks were good. You should have done Warrocks. Oh no, you know what they do. Who <laughs> the fuck they do? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He knows that they should need another. Oh, I did face. buy two fucking Warbrox mountains this week <laughs> off the store because that store had them, and I was like, I don't know. Here's a card worth five bucks. Give me the fucking mountains. Jesus Christ. One day they'll be good. Mm-mm. You just like Mm-mm. mountains. When the battle phase is great again. I'm waiting for that. When the battle phase is. Two. <laughs> yeah. Main phase two. Battle phase two. Main phase three. End phase. End phase two. <laughs> <laughs> end phase anything? No. Oh, a okay. second, end phase a two. Second battle phase. <laughs> oh, and end main phase, phase two. Afterward would be so fucky. It's pretty much just Digimon. Uh, evenly matched. Main phase two. Do combo. Battle phase again. <laughs> <laughs> evenly matched. Ah, <laughs> uh, we have fun. That would be fucked. Then um. Anyway, I feel like we're getting towards the end of this. I've well, at least I am. Um, this is the longest podcast in a while. It's been a while. Uh, so thank you all for uh, being here this evening. Uh, if you do have any questions for us, because I don't believe we've had any new yeah, ones. Yeah, we haven't had any new ones because that also coincides with not releasing the podcast. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to answer a question that you didn't know you were asked. So, <laughs> if you ask a question in reply to last week's episode... It'll be not next yeah, week, but the week after... Yeah. <laughs> But we'll just keep put, asking. We'll probably them. also just put this up on Friday. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, yeah. so yeah, we it's get not going to be back on track. Yeah. Most of the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thank you all, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye. No matter what.